Hello everyone, I am Nadia Patel and welcome back to our operating system practical series. Let us get started with our next practical assignment, which is going to be implementing rename command of DOS. So let me open the program first. It. So before doing anything, let me first change my directory location, which were, which I usually forget. So my directory location is Turbo C3 bin inside bin. I have kept my folder. Let me select it, change directory and OK. So let us first see the working of command and quickly we'll check RC. Code. So let us go to file, DOS shell, and create a text file. For creating a text file, there is a command in DOS which is copy con space file name. Let us say, for example, we are creating file 3.txt and enter. If this file is currently not present in our directory location, it will create that file and open it in the right mode. If you see the cursor blinking on the screen, that means it is accepting the characters and the file has got created in the right mode. Let me type my characters, my new file. Check working of rename command. Always try to put some characters, some statements inside your text files so that you, you understand how these files work when it has characters and how this file work when they are actually empty. So I've typed some letters, some characters, some statement inside it and I'll press enter. If you're using some another version of Turbo C, I am making use of DOSBox. So this is the format of how DOS shell inside it works. If you are making use of some another uh, setups, there might be a case that when you type your letters, you see them, which is good, which is not at all bad. Here in our, in our case in DOS box, I don't actually see what is getting inserted. So that is not a, an issue. But, but when I press enter, the file gets closed and all the characters, whatever statements you're typing inside it get closed. In some other setup, there might be a case you need to press Control Z and then enter. When you press Control Z, the file gets closed. So check accordingly how your DOS shell works inside your C setup and work accordingly. Now let us check the contents of our file. For displaying the contents of file, I'm making use of type command of DOS and my file name, which is file 3 dot txt and enter. So these are the contents of our file. Now I am going to rename this file 3.txt to some different name. So while for doing that we make use of rename command of DOS rename space the current file name which is file 3.txt and I'm giving a new name maybe my name Natia.txt and let us press enter. So again, if the new name which you are passing, a file of that name, if it is already present in this directory location, it is going to give you one error that illegal command or cannot rename. So check that the file, new file name which you're giving should not be present. So it has now renamed the file. Now again, I need to check the contents of my file. Let me go through it. Type command space and our new file name. Yes, it has successfully renamed my file. So this is what we are going to do in today's lecture. We are going to replace rename command with our C program code and perform the same execution. But before switching to our code, what we usually do is we count and make sure we understand what are the arguments. 
so this is the first program which is having arguments greater than 2 till now i think we have gone through some 5 to 6 assignments which have made use of maximum two arguments or you can say less than two even two arguments this is the first program which is having three arguments we have decided we are going to start counting arguments from one so the number of arguments here are we give the command which is the first argument we give the file name which is the existing file name we give space and we gave the new file name so the number of arguments are three now let us go through our code and check okay again i have made use of three header files which are the standard input output dot h console input output dot h and dir dot h i have written argument counter i have now declared argument vector which is pointer array of character type and we have handled the arguments we have decided that our arguments are equal to three so our code should exactly work when our arguments count will become equal to three other than that the code is not supposed to work so if the arguments count is less than three it is going to give us invalid parameters if the arguments count becomes greater than three it is going to give us that it, it is having too many parameters and it should exactly work when the arguments count becomes equal to three so inside that i have written i have made use of the inbuilt command which is the rename command i have placed it outside i have written argument vector position one and vector position two equal to zero now when we counted the argument we started counting it from one onwards but now we are making use of the vector array which is an array so definitely it is going to start from zero so the zeroth position of vector was our command the first position of our vector is going to be our file name which is the existing file name we gave which was file maybe 3.txt we gave file 3.txt and the new name which i gave my own name nadia.txt so the first position zeroth position was of array we are speaking about now vector so the vector position zeroth position was the command itself first position was the existing file name and the second position is the new file name and all these arguments should be equal to zero then this condition is going to get highlighted file i have made use of the existing file name i have just written a print statement let us go through it file is renamed as so the existing file is renamed as and i have passed both the arguments both the argument vector position one and two so the existing file name will also be displayed on the screen and the new file name will also be displayed on the screen and i have closed the program so this is all about the code now let us quickly compile it our steps of compilation is first compile then make link and finally build all do not forget to write down this exe name because this is the only thing which you are going to write down or type down on the DOS shell. rrnm.exe. Enter. Now let us go to menu, file, and DOS shell. Let me clear the screen. Now let us first create a text file. Copy con jk1 dot txt enter my new file for os article just type down your letters okay. 
display the contents of that file by using type command. And now we are going to rename this file. For that, we'll make use of our exe name, which is source backslash dot exe space the existing file name which is jk1 dot txt and the new file name let us say for example jz dot txt and enter okay so the message is prompted on the screen which is file jk1.txt which is the existing file name is renamed as jz.txt let us press enter but i'm not sure so let us check the contents of this file i'll press enter so yes it has copied it has not copied it is sorry renamed the file oh, we are quickly going to go through the copy command as well but right now we have just renamed the file contents are same only the file name has got changed so the existing file name jk1 has renamed now to the new name with the use of r exe so let us exit from the DOS shell and this is all about code if it is not visible let me switch the window okay so this is it Again, the same format, again, the same execution type. We have made use of dir.h and passed the command itself in the code. So again, it became easy. Only the difference was the count of argument. So that's it. Let us close. I hope you like this video and understood how to implement rename command of DOS using our C program. Thank you for watching.